Hi everyone, it's Don. Well, I'm back from my cruise ships and I promised you, <laughs> I was gonna tell you how I did in trying to lose weight on a cruise ship. How did I do? Oh, I, you know what? I, I hate my hair right now. I need my hair cut. I'm going this afternoon. Can't wait to get my hair cut. Apologize for the hair. Okay. Um, before I left for my cruise, I weighed 203 pounds, which is overweight for my size, for my height. And I said to myself, because, and this is because I had, you know, gone cruising and had just come back from cruising uh, to Alaska. And I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I said to myself, oh, well, I got to do something because I gained like 12 pounds on that cruise over two weeks. So if I go on a month of cruises and I do the exact same thing, I'm going to come back in the 220s, 230s, and that'll be really hard for me to start losing. So I said to myself, Don, you're going to lose weight on the cruise ships. You're going to go to the gym and you're going to try and lose weight on a cruise ship. So 203 pounds. Well, <laughs> I started off, I started off really, really well. My first cruise was a 15 day Panama Canal cruise on the Emerald Princess. And on day three, I started going to the gym every single day. And I was managing to keep the weight down. I felt good. I, you know, my lungs were doing well and everything. I did my walking every day. It was really, really good. But that cruise was a very relaxing cruise. There was only 731 people on board. And there was only four ports of stop in 15 days. So lots of sea days. Most events didn't take place until late at night. So I had all day to do just work and relax and sit on my balcony and watch the ocean go by in the sunshine after all those rainy days in Alaska. And I was really enjoying it. And I did go to the gym every single day and I kind of watched what I was eating as best I could. And then I arrived in Florida. And in Florida, I had three days before a two day cruise. And then I had two days before a five day cruise that turned in and jumped on another two day cruise. So when I got to my hotel in Florida, the gym is a, a typical hotel gym, but uh, there were a lot of people staying there. And every time I went to the gym, there was somebody there. And I, so I, I ended up not, you know, I didn't want to keep checking the gym every 20 minutes, especially since I was at a hotel and I, you know, before my next cruise, I had good internet. So I was able to download some videos. I was able to do editing. I was able to phone. I was able to do work. I was able to finally do things at a half decent speed. So I was doing all that stuff and I didn't even eat at a restaurant, not one restaurant. I went and I ended up buying stuff at Publix, but I would pop by, you know, ham and cheese and butter and bread and I'd make sandwiches during that day and then I would have a little craving and I'd buy those little chocolate pudding cups and I'd have some of those. So those three days were horrible because bread just hits me like a ton and that's what I ate a ton of their bread. So yeah, that wasn't good. No exercise for those three days. And then I got on the two day cruise and it's all events. And it's, you got to go here for dinner. You got to go here for dinner. You got to be here in time for the meetings. You got to be here for this. You got to do a, a scavenger hunt You got for, in two days. I literally had no time to go to the gym. I had no time to do anything uh, on the two day. And then I'm back to the hotel, more sandwiches, more, <laughs> more no going to the gym. Then I got on the five day and there was just so much on that ship because it was like, it's the Odyssey of the Seas. It has so many things and so many shows and so many dining venues. And I had to try and cover them all that I was going, 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 going on that. And then I went into the two day event after that. It was meetings, 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 dinner, 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 show, show. You get the idea. 
And I arrived, then I got back in one night in a hotel, more sandwiches. <laughs> and then I flew back to Canada. And I stepped on the scale and I weighed 202 pounds. So it's a mixed bag. It's a very mixed bag. No, I did not gain more weight, even though I was traveling for 30 days. However, I didn't lose, I lost a pound and that's not really a losing. That could be water weight for the morning or whenever I just weighed, right? If I would have had a, a, a can of pop or a coffee just before I weighed myself the first time, then I would have been up a pound. So yeah, was it a success? No. Was it a failure? No. I think uh, had I been able to do like I did on the Emerald Princess and go to that gym every day, I probably would have come back about five pounds lighter than when I left. And, if, and that's still enjoying the food and things like that. Had I been able to just find time to go to the gym that one hour a day, hit the treadmill, walk around the track, something like that. But those cruises were just built for like two days are just crazy. You have so many things you have to do and so many events you have to get to and meeting people and in the industry and things like that. It, it just becomes very, very overwhelming. So now I have uh, three more cruises coming up. I currently weigh 202 pounds. I don't expect to lose much between now and next Saturday when I fly off. So say I leave town at say 200 pounds. Let's, let's, let's put it right now, stamp. 200 pounds. On the next cruises, uh, they're not as active. Yes, there's some big ships. Yes, I have shore excursions. I have all that kind of stuff. But they're active shore excursions. They're, sc they're snorkeling and uh, walking tours and things like that. So getting some exercise. Plus I'm going on two of those cruises with my friend Alicia from Florida and she likes to go to the gym every day. So I'm quite sure that uh, she's going to make, you know, I, I will feel guilty if I don't go to the gym. <laughs> and she goes to the gym every day and I'm sleeping in, right? Um, so I think, I think I may actually be able to be successful on my next cruises because they're not two day cruises. They're five day, six day and five day cruises. And only uh, I have two nights in a hotel. Uh, that's a whole other story. Wait till I tell you that story. Uh, I, I almost, I almost might have missed my cruises. Uh, but that's another, another video coming up. But I'll save that one for later. This one, uh, two nights in a hotel, five night cruise, one night in a hotel, and then eleven nights of cruising in a row on two different ships, and then one night in a hotel and flying back. So I don't expect those to be too, too bad. And the first night I arrive at the hotel, it's like at midnight. Uh, my flight doesn't get in. So it's not really any food that day, it's food the next day. So one day, basically three nights in hotels, I think I can manage not to do bad things in the hotel uh, as far as the eating habits are concerned. But there, yeah. Did I, did I pass? Kinda. I, I didn't. I technically lost a pound, but I, the big success for me was I didn't gain weight on the cruise, which I normally do. And if anyone else out there cruises, you know, the average person gains about a pound a day on a cruise. <music>